Have you noticed that what you resist, what you hate, what you demonize, you eventually end up becoming? I have one example. Um, one person on Facebook who really hates Donald Trump. He hates that he talks in headlines, that he talks about fake news, and he really, really, really hates him. And he constantly wants to find uh, arguments um, for him being an, a lousy president. Okay, just observation. I'm not saying he's good or bad. So what ends up happening is that he constantly end up, ends up finding evidence for his um, preconceived ideas about Donald Trump. And he ends up becoming the person who talks in headlines, who talks uh, and, and spreads fake news, who um, doesn't, we, we are all as a collective are looking only at the headlines. We, our attention span has become less and less and less. We need to wake up and see that fear, anger, hate, and aggressiveness attacking the other person is not the right way if you want to solve this world's problems. We have to do it in a different way. So what can we do? First of all, start by looking at creating acceptance inside of you for whatever is present right now in this moment of time. If you have a fearful thought or sensation, just accept it, welcome it without resistance. And when you allow it to be here, just notice it, it dissolves. Give your energy to the solution instead of the problem. So you might not be in favor of Donald Trump. Then you have to support the other persons who are having different solutions. So support the solution that you want to see in the world. So if you want to see more peace, if you want to see a greener earth, um, better environment, more love on earth, then support those who work for it. And always remember you have to be the change you want to see in the world, as Gandhi said. You have to be the change that you want to see in the world. And if you feel urged to go and do a demonstration for what, whatever, then remember it has to be non-violent. It has to be a loving place because if you just come with the energy of hate and attack and aggressiveness and you end up getting one dictatorship and then just end up having another dictatorship. Because I observed this in Egypt. I went to Egypt in January and they had a, um, the Arabic Spring in 2011. Lots of people out on the streets um, demonstrating and they were quite violent, some of them. Okay, they got a new government. Uh, the military went in and the Egyptians say themselves that it didn't get any better from the old dictatorship to the new. So it's super important what energy you bring in, that's also the energy that you receive. So if you put out garbage and junk and hate, that's what you get back again. One of the things you also can notice, and it's really important, is that Martin Luther King, he always argued that you have to do this universally. You can't just divide people in good or bad, you have to love your opponent and not have harmful thoughts towards them. So again, you don't want to replace uh, some hateful dictator with a new one. You have to really be knowing of what energy are you coming from, which place are you coming from, what is your intention. So come from a loving place and don't want to hurt each other, non-violent, loving, peaceful demonstration. Focus on the solution, because what you resist, persist. And in Danish we have sort of a weird language. Uh, we have a, a saying that goes, um, go after the ball, not the person. Like if you play soccer or football, then you want to go after the ball, 
<laughs> instead of the person. And in politics, what we're seeing is that people are becoming more divided in political correct, not political correct. And we are being very aggressive with calling other people names. And I'm just going to say sorry in advance because uh, they would say, you lousy a creep, uh, I hate you, uh, you're an awful person, um, you're completely wrong. Instead of arguing from a loving place, from a peaceful place, where you put out arguments that not attack the other person. Because if you attack the other person, you send out this vibration and you end up also attacking yourself because the other person is you. It's part of you. You're not just this limited identity and body. You are universal, unconditional love and awareness. And this is not something new. You can see Buddha behind me. He's been talking about this for years and he's been going around spiritually for centuries. And still, when we get into a crisis situation, when we're pressured, when we're in fear, that's the tendency I see coming up. When we're in anger, this is the tendency that coming up. And it's very stressful for our body-mind system. Our body and mind is connected. So if we are very stressed emotionally, it also creates havoc in your physical body because they're connected. So if you think of the body as an electromagnetic body, then focus on what charges it and what discharges it. So what uplifts it, what drains it. So what uplifts you might be something completely different than me, uh, but it could be going out into the sun, going out to nature. It could be drinking water that's been cleansed and blessed, food that's been blessed, that's not genetically modified, uh, not uh, sprayed with a lot of pesticides, um, could be being in an environment of people that are supportive and loving, and not in fearful states of mind or um, very aggressive or just uh, giving up. Because you have so much energy, you are not a victim of anything unless you want to be. You just have to stop sending your energy out to situations, people that you have zero control over and take the energy back to you. It's your energy, your focus. And use that creative energy for something productive. So this is my video about stop demonizing, hating people who has other op uh, op uh, opinions. Sorry, English is not my main language. You might hear it. Um, my main language is, is Danish. And um, also start to focus on the solution. Give that more energy. And stop attacking other people's perception of the world. And just state what your opinion is. Don't criticize them on behalf of how they look or how old they are, how well educated they are, what ways they are. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever their opinion is, is legitimate. And as long as they're not hurtful to anyone, physically or mentally, that's fine. We're not supposed to be the same, even though our awareness is the same. We're still small. Uh, different perspectives of the awareness. So all my love and have a wonderful day and be the love that you are and just notice the love and the light that you have inside of you. You don't have to get it from anywhere else. Just notice that you already are the love that you're seeking in all the wrong places. My name is Simon August and I wish you a wonderful day.